Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. It's cold out here today. Anyway, I just wanted to share a moment with you guys uh, that I just had. I'm breathe your words, you know. So anyway, um, this is my moment. Um, this morning was already hectic, right? We woke up late for school, okay? So getting everybody ready, getting out the door. We get out the door, you know, it's probably 7.30 something. We're in the car on the way to school. And then right when we get to the school right when I'm pulling up about to let them out of the school I turn around and my five-year-old has taken her coat off mind you it's freezing outside it is not warm this morning you can tell because my allergies are acting stupid it is not warm it is cold outside this morning okay so anyway now I get so upset because she's without her coat it's time for them to literally step out the car go into school they're already almost late they're definitely tardy this morning you know and uh i just turn around and i'm like what are you doing what are you doing you know literally i'm yelling like that and then you know i tell her come here and i help her put her coat on but i'm doing it with attitude and then i put her backpack on and then i'm like go keep it on until you get in the classroom have a good day bye you know but um, I wanted to share that with y'all because I got mad so fast and I watched my words, but I didn't watch my tone. I didn't watch my reaction level at all. And I shouldn't have reacted in that kind of way. You know, I know it was inappropriate, meaning it wasn't right for her to have to go to school, like step out the car like that. And I'm yelling at her, you know, I'm not proud of that. And I automatically thought about that scripture that in Ephesians chapter four, I believe it's verse either verse 25 through 30 or verse 26 through 30 but something like that go to Ephesians chapter 4 read from verse 24 and down and you'll know what I'm talking about because it talks about how we should watch what's coming out of our mouth watch the speech and then you know there are also other verses in the Bible that talk about being quick to listen and slow to speak slow to get angry then there's another verse that says a gentle answer turns away wrath but harsh words stir up anger this is Proverbs 15 1 the other one um, I don't know which particular chapter or uh, book of the Bible that's in the one that's uh, be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to get angry but I'll look it up and when I find it I will share it but um anyway you guys I was just sharing that with y'all because it's like you know as parents sometimes we don't think about the words that come out of our mouth is really affecting our kids or we don't think about that just our reaction is affecting them and you know I automatically felt terrible on the inside and I was I started praying after that because I was like I was wrong I wasn't right and I admitted that you know but I couldn't tell her that I'm sorry because she had already gotten out the car she had already went into school you know with Zipporah so my daughter probably gave her a hug or whatever and let her know it's okay but I hate moments like that when I get that way I hate moments like that because it doesn't feel good but you know that I'm a person I'm a human you know but that doesn't mean that I have to keep messing up keep making those mistakes you know I can do better and I know that I can do better so I must do better as a mom you know I was just listening to a pastor talk about the fact that if we want to raise our children to fear the Lord are we doing it do we fear the Lord do we represent what the Bible says do we behave how God wants us to behave and I was like oh Lord Jesus help me because I don't always and I can admit that and I know that and I know that I need to focus more on that scripture on those scriptures to practice them every day in my life and every moment in my life because regardless of what people feel Christ Jesus is real the Heavenly Father God is real the Holy Spirit is real all living within us all surrounding us protecting us constantly you know so you know it, it's fascinating but it's true everything that everything in this life is a spiritual battle everything and because it's written in the Bible that we battle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and spirits and things like that in different places and high places you know so therefore if we're battling not against flesh and blood that means that the person you're mad at it's it's not even their fault meaning that like you're getting mad but this is deeper than what you can see you know you know what I'm saying? So it's like, instead of me pausing and realizing, you know, Charity, the devil is trying to get a foothold on you this morning. It's not right. Don't let him do it. Watch your behavior. Watch your attitude. I didn't. But I caught it real quick. 
and I made sure I told myself this morning like don't even let another mistake like that happen again today period simple but anyway y'all have a blessed day thanks for listening and you know if you have any weird happenings this morning or a stressful morning this morning or a stressful moment in your morning share it with me I want to know how you're doing what's up with you and thank you for watching breathe your words hope you like subscribe and share click the notification button to get new videos bye